Hey, what's up, Dose family? Hey, what's up, Dose family? Hey guys, today we have a double side change. So we are going to do a Dexcom change and a pump change. She just got out of the shower and she wants to do, what are we doing first, the Dexcom or the pump? Dexcom. Dexcom pump, okay. I don't like Dexcom. I already took off the old one and this is what it looks like. The little wire that goes in her interstitial fluid to check her blood sugars. Okay, so first thing you have to do is do the code. stop the sensor or I can't um, see the code. So you have to stop the sensor or wait until the sensor expires. 9117. Okay, hold on. Slow down. She likes to rush through things. Um, I don't like my dick's going. What happened? Is it not working? Step. Hold on. Step one, we are going to play this song. I think I'm just kidding. Stop the dick's come. Okay, sorry, I was interrupted Nine. by Logan. Hold on, not yet, Emma. You gotta hold on, kiddo. Okay, so I just wanted to say that this is the way that we do this. Um, we're no way professionals or doctors, but this is just the way we do it and it works for us. Okay, so you have to get your receiver or your pump, I mean your iPhone or your iPod, whatever you guys use for receiving your uh, readings. So you're gonna go to settings and either you're gonna stop the sensor which is in settings all the way at the bottom and you either do that or you wait until your sensor expires but we waited until it expired so we're gonna go to new sensor and we're gonna uh, press enter code and we're gonna enter it manually because Emma likes putting in the code and the code is that on the sensor which is 9117 which we have a lot okay go ahead the heck was that okay mm. press save okay and now we get to put on the sensor i don't know why to do that no why because we've already seen that we're gonna take it out of the container and she just got out of the shower and so her skin's all mm. clean and prepped so it's we'll go on your knees i don't like doing this i know but we need to and i'm wearing my christmas but she's ready for christmas and then also, I took off the uh, transmitter, old transmitter, and I cleaned it with alcohol. Just make sure that these Logan two again. prongs are clean. I'm sorry, buddy. I know, he wants to come up. Okay, so that is the sensor. What happened? All right, now that we're back, we're gonna put on the sensor. So usually, you have to make sure that the skin is clean and dry. And I'm gonna put it on her belly. You wanna put it on where there's a lot of fat. Um, usually Emma has it on her leg or her belly or her arm. So those are the three places we like to put it. Um, sit on your knees, Emma. And we're gonna put it, so I'm just gonna kinda see where it is. Wait, Make did sure. you take off the stickers? No, not yet. I'm just gonna see where I wanna put it so that it's not too close to her belly button. Just right there, okay? Okay. All right, we're gonna peel off Okay, take off the Please. White, um the thingy. The orange thingy? Mm -hmm. Okay, sit up. We're gonna scream Wait, on hold on. One, two, three. Hold on, hold on. This you take off it. You take off it. Okay. And, oh, and we're gonna scream. One, one two, two, three. Okay. Ah! Gonna make sure you rub it really, 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 really well. Let's bring the camera closer. It's gonna look like that. And we're gonna make sure that we rub it really well, three times all around. And then we're gonna take the transmitter and we're kind of see where it goes. This lip right there goes right into the little slot and make sure it clicks twice. And we're gonna, one, two, there goes those two clicks. Make sure that it's really flush to this, to the sensor. It looks like that. And that is done with that. I don't wanna wait until it spires again. I know. And then we're gonna go back to the receiver and we're gonna put next and we're gonna put start sensor. Now you're on a two hour warm up, so you're not gonna get any um, alerts or anything like that. We actually have to check your sugar because it says it was going down. And you have to make sure that this is close to you. Um, if not, then it's gonna give you an error. Okay, that's done. 
Now we're gonna do the pump. This is the Tandem T-Slim pump. Um, and Emma's had this for two years, we really like it. And we have different sites that we've tried to use. We've tried the True Steel, we like, um, but it hurts Emma a little bit. And then this is the uh, Auto Soft. So the difference between this is that it's a metal needle and then a metal cannula, that's the steel. And then this is the plastic airsoft cannula. There's that. And so, we're going to change her pump. pump. So I took it off. Did you got the red thing? Yeah, go ahead. Let's start opening everything. White. Right. That's red. <laughs> also, where's the dex go? I forgot to say this. Also, you're gonna want to take a picture of the code and the lot number. So if you need to get it replaced, that's what they're gonna call uh, and ask you. So what usually I do with Emma is she's got an iPhone, so I'm gonna take a picture with her phone, and so that way if they call me, um, it'll be straight on her phone, and then it, <laughs> that's funny, and then it's gonna save on there, and there's gonna be a time and date timestamp on there, so you don't have to kind of, oh, what is the day that I put it on, or what is the day that it expired? So, that's that. Okay, so now we're done with this. Let's do your pump site. So you're gonna need your pump, you're gonna need the infusion site, you're gonna need um, your needle and syringe, and you're gonna need insulin. The most important part is the insulin. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and unlock the pump options. I stopped the pump already, and we're gonna go to load, and we're gonna change cartridge, Continue, and we're gonna pop off this cartridge. Can I? Usually, I just take the syringe and stick it in there and twist, and it just pops off. I'll, help, I'll let you put the insulin in. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm gonna put air into the insulin vial. So usually I go to one or the next line after one. So I'm gonna push that into the vial, and then I'm gonna turn it upside down. And usually it goes on its own, but I might have to change this file. We're gonna pull the insulin all out until the mark that you put the air in. So I think that vial is done. Yep, the vial is empty. So I just took all the insulin out of that vial because it's pretty much done. So with all those air bubbles, don't worry. With the new cartridge, this is the new cartridge. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Thank you. I'm gonna stick it in, stick the needle into that white little part there, and I'm gonna extract the air. So I'm gonna stick that in there, and I'm gonna pull the air out. And that's gonna help you with those air bubbles that are in the insulin, because you don't want any air bubbles in the insulin. So now I'm gonna push out the air again, and then I'm gonna do it one more time. Usually I do it twice, and then there shouldn't be any more. Mm -hmm. There shouldn't be any more air in that cartridge. So I'm gonna pull that out, tap out the insulin. I mean, tap out the air bubbles and then <laughs> make sure that there isn't any air and push until you see the insulin bubble at the top. And make sure you just keep tapping and tapping. Make sure you don't have any more air bubbles. Okay, now Emma likes doing this part. I'm gonna have her put the insulin into the cartridge now. Can you hold this? Yeah, go ahead. Good job. So that's empty now. All the insulin's in the cartridge now. Now we're gonna go back and put the cartridge and snap it into the pump. My, so pump, pump. my arm is so sticky. I'll take all this empty. Oh, we'll show them how to take all that stuff off. Okay, go ahead and push it down until you hear it click. Okay. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna go back. Did you open the pink thing for me? Mm -hmm. You want me to fill out the bottom? Yes. So we remove the cartridge, we put the new cartridge in, and now it's gonna detect the insulin that's in there. Mommy, why is there paper on the bottom? Sometimes it doesn't all come off. Where's my needle cap? Okay, it's gonna cap my needle so that nobody gets poked. Okay, now we're gonna take this off, and now we need to fill the tubing. Can you take off the blue thingy? Not right now, because we'll do it once we're off. Okay. We, we're ready to put it on. 
So Can't that vial it. is empty. Emma uses Humalog as her insulin. Humalog. Humalog. Now you're gonna con you're gonna connect the two, and just twist it. Make sure you twist it tight. And now you're gonna fill the tubing. So you're gonna press start, and you're gonna start hearing it beep. So it usually takes about um, 12 units, and you're gonna wait for that bubble of insulin, the insulin drop right there on that blue tip. So you're gonna put it on your belly. Let me see your belly. Let's see your belly. Did you forget anything? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, stop. It took 12.4 units. Okay, now you gotta make sure. I usually take off the blue thing first. So I usually put my finger on the white adhesive like this and then I pull off the blue and that exposes the little needle and then make sure that you take off the white part to expose the infusion site and then I make sure that my fingers are on the ridges right here. You see the ridges? And I don't like putting it on here because then it'll um, release, release the needle. So I make sure that it's on the ridges and then I pull this back and we're ready. So and then putting, I always put the tube right where there's a ridge, you see that? And that's where I put the tubing so it's, it isn't in the way. And then here, let's see. Mm. Up, come on, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're gonna put the infusion side. I like putting the tube pointing where the pump is gonna be. So I point the tube. Here, let's put it this way. I'm gonna push this down and we're gonna Point the tube, you see where the tubing is? I always point it towards where the pump is gonna be. So kinda, and then we're gonna squeeze, okay? We're gonna count again. One, two, two three, ah! Hurts, oh. Sorry, okay, that's it, it's done. It's done. Stings. I'm sorry. It usually just stings a little bit, just tap it. Okay, now we're gonna take it apart. And we're gonna put it and feed it through her spy belt. This is where she keeps her pump. So, where's her pump hole? There's the pump hole. I put the pump in. I'm gonna feed. It just tickles a little bit. Usually it just stings a little bit. Okay, we're gonna feed that. You're fine. Just It always stings just a little bit and we're gonna tap it. Okay, here, let's put this in here. I know, we're done. You know, that's what it looks like. Let's, go. let's show them what it looks like. Good job. She's gonna get a cookie tonight, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get a cookie. I'm gonna give you a cookie right now. Not right now, after dinner. Okay, I'm just gonna tap, let's tap it. And we're gonna press done on the autofill. And remember, you're gonna do site change. Reminder, so we're gonna change it on Wednesday. We change it every two days. And now we can resume the insulin. So we're gonna go, and then now resume insulin now, and yes. We're done, we're done. That was a good job. Okay, you're done. All done, we're not, we're. Okay, if it hurts, it'll go away, remember? One little poke and what? What do you say? One little poke and what? One little poke and what? Okay, let's check your sugar because I think your sugar is low. You might be low. Okay? Do one more thing and then we can throw all this trash away. Let's check your sugar. Okay, please? Okay. Come on. And we're done. And you're going to have a cookie right after. Cookie or ice cream? Cookie. Okay. Okay, here. Poke. You want me to do it? Your sugar might be low, so I don't have a juice. Oh, 94. She's okay. Turn block. Okay, okay. You okay now? Okay.
usually it stings. Still hurt. Okay, usually it stings just a little bit and then it goes away after a little minute, okay? Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, again, we're not professionals. This is just what works for us. Um, also, I wanted to mention what helps take off the sticky stuff is the Unisolve. We get this off Amazon. I know a lot of people use um, lemon essential oil. That's something that we like using. It just takes a little longer. Um, this just helps make the process faster. Also, we have the wipes. They're called the Remove. And then after that, we like putting oil to moisturize the skin because that's what um, gives Emma rashes is the dryness so if you just put a little bit of oil it'll help and we have come a long way with skin and diabetes the adhesives just really mess Emma's skin up but um do you want to show them how to take it off really quick okay so we're gonna show you how to take off the sticky stuff and then that's that'll be it okay so Emma's got lots of sticky stuff on there on her arm and we're gonna show them just like that. I'm gonna take the remove wipes, or you could just use the Unisolve in the bottle, and I just put it on cotton. But usually what I do is I just make sure it's wiped and wet. Can you blow? It hurts. Okay, and I'll leave that on for just a couple of minutes, and then it'll all come off. Leave it on there for a minute or two. It's coming off. Yeah. That's that. Okay, and now, let's see if it'll come off. It's already coming off. And Emma likes it when I kind of rub because then it scratches it, huh? Mm-hmm. I just rub it a little bit. Not so hard. And all the sticky stuff came off. You want to show them? It's already all off. Can't even see it anymore. And now we're just going to put some oil to really moisturize her skin. And it just helps with the itchiness. Huh. You like that? We love that oil. Everybody loves that oil in our family. All right. Okay, guys. I hope you guys like this video. We will try to show you more, right, about diabetes. Usually she doesn't cry. Um, and she's really brave about it. But I think I just hit a sensitive spot. You want to say bye? Okay, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm going to show you guys that Emma's fine. Does your pump feel better now? Huh? It goes away. It's just tingly after you change it and it should be fine, huh? How is it? Tell me. Um, <laughs> it looks right there. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. hi. He's too oh. busy eating. But I just wanted to show them that you're okay, right? It just hurt a little sensitive spot. Okay. Mama. One little poke and what? What do you say? One little poke in. And you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So it's been two hours and her warm up is done. Her sensor sugar is 163. But we gotta double check with the finger stick. So, let's see what it is. It says 112. But her phone says 112. Come back and check her again. Okay, now it's saying she's 74. So let's check now. Turn on the bathroom light so I can see. Sorry, babe. Sorry, sorry. Come on. Bleed for me, finger, bleed. Hold on, Emma, it's not bleeding. She's just bleeding. There, I got a bleeder. There you go. Let's see what it is. 98. Okay. It's <sighs> inaccurate. So now, let's calibrate again.
calibrate. Hopefully that's the last time I have to do that and wake her up. Poor thing. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to the dose fan. Jason's losing at Monopoly and he's being mean <laughs> and grumpy. Whatever. <laughs> Hurry up and fight! <laughs>